For the Daughter's Gate 332, our third visit to what can be the best skate park in Sweden. Use the time codes, chapters and progress bars to jump straight to the action. Okay, so me and Leia, we're heading out to Philipsdal Street Plaza and that's the best skate park in Sweden. At least if you're a street skater like at least I and Leia claim to be. So yeah, I'm super stoked. Uh, this was a quite a spontaneous trip and uh, we're hoping to have uh, luck with the weather. It's uh, overcast, but no rain, no water. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully we'll have an awesome session. And my only goal is to do uh, 50 down the inclined ledge. I've tried that two sessions before. It has always beaten me, but I have practiced 50-50s uh, the last summer, this summer, and today, damn it, I'm gonna get that inclined ledge or else. <laughs> but yeah, um, super stoked about this and uh, we hope that you guys will enjoy this video. And if you do, then give it a thumbs up, tap the subscribe button, smash the bell, you know it. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys at the skate park. So it takes us just about 35 minutes to get to the skate park, so it feels a bit weird that we have only been there two times before. It's really fun to take skate trips like this together. So as you can see here, the entire skate park is pretty long and narrow, and it's very street skate friendly. No bowls or mini ramps anywhere to be found. We began the session with some frontside 50-50s on this beginner friendly curb. Now, I have practiced my 50-50s quite a lot this summer, but Leia has only recently started practicing 50s this season, and she's already showing some good progress, I think. Next, we try to 50 this hubba. I have never landed a 50 down a hubba before, so I thought it would be cool to land one but it was easier in my head than in practice. And we're of course trying to cheat it by getting into the grind before the incline part, but even that was tricky. It was probably a lot of hesitation that held us back because the idea of grinding down the hubba, it was a bit scary. Here I just tried to get used to the idea and feel of grinding down an incline. Great success. That was the best one so far, but I didn't have the courage to follow it through. And here it was time to get comfortable with the A-frame. Both me and Leia practice tricks up and down banks quite often, but it's quite rare for us to skate A-frames, and that is a different beast. 
and something that we both need to work on. The last summer it was a challenge for me to just do a regular ollie over an A-frame, but I have worked on my ollies and I feel slightly more comfortable now. Ooh, Leia's backstab one is, they're so good. I mean, mine aren't bad, but hers are really, really good. Frontside 180s, that's a pretty uncomfortable trick for me, and the A-frame didn't make things better. One attempt! Let's see if I have it on one attempt. I have only landed kickflips over eight frames a handful of times in my life, so the idea of me landing one first try, yeah, that was a bit optimistic. Here I needed to build some much needed confidence by landing a couple of regular flat ground kickflips. I skated Vans shoes this session and my kickflips felt worse than usual. I don't know if I can blame the shoes, but I did really miss my Etnis Moranas. Okay, so this damn ledge has defeated us twice before. Let's get it now. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this took a lot of attempts, but we've already shown lots of 50s in this video, so I'm just including the one that I landed. And this. Two times earlier this little stair set has defeated me, and I didn't feel optimistic about my odds of turning the tables this day. I tried to work up some courage by doing the ollies in the bank next to the stair, but it, it didn't work at all. In the end I never dared to even try the ollie down the stair and I still feel bummed about that to this very day. Now this surprisingly turned out to be quite a challenge. I just tried to land a kickflip down this medium-high manual pad. I hadn't tried kickflipping off something for quite some time, and I had a hard time both with the technique and with the commitment. <laughs> when looking at this, one could suspect that I have never landed a kickflip in my life. It looks really, really bad. So this is definitely something that I need to incorporate in my sort of daily practice. After a while, Leia came and joined the battle, and it turned out that she had to struggle for it as well. So, we sort of battled who of us that would land it first. I finally committed enough to put both feet on the board, but my technique was way off and I couldn't land the trick. So Leia got one, but with a bit of toe drag, so we kept the battle going. And there, Leia landed a clean one. 
So I tried to land one back to back. <laughs> I almost landed a super sketchy one. And there. I got one. The technique looks terrible, but I at least landed one. And this definitely showed me that I need to get back and practice kickflips off obstacles because I should not need a thousand attempts to land a kickflip off a medium high manual pad curve. We did some more tricks over the A-frame and Leia kept landing solid tricks. The worst part is that I actually landed a pretty decent kickflip over the A-frame but my super glitchy GoPro decided that it didn't want to keep that footage so yeah that got lost. And to wrap up the session, I did some more sketchy flat ground kick flips. And after this session, I pretty much stopped skating the van's shoes altogether. Not just because of the poor kick flips, but because they were killing my feet. They were really super uncomfortable for me. Miranas, here I come. Okay, so damn. <laughs> that was a killer session. I didn't land much, uh, it wasn't a super good session for me, but I had to battle through a lot of different stuff and some stuff I, I managed to land, some stuff I, I didn't, and that's the nature of skating. And one thing that really surprised me was that I, uh, in the end, I had to really battle to land a kickflip off that uh, manual pad. And when me and Leia skated more in the indoor skate park at Hip Square, I, I used to practice my kickflips uh, down into the min ramp. Uh, it was sort of a curb, a wooden curb, a wooden, wooden ledge, and I could do my kickflip down into the flat of the min ramp. And I haven't done that in a long, long, long time. And damn, I, that trick uh, had really slipped out of my muscle memory. So. Uh, that was a it was an eye opener. I, I really need to get back and practice that trick uh, because uh, I mean I, I, I need to be able to do the kickflip not only on flat ground but up stuff down stuff and Yeah, I need to have that control. I want that control Are you to do that? Yeah, I So Leia she didn't practice anything. She just landed most stuff first try typical layer and yeah I, I managed to land that 50 down that inclined ledge that I mentioned in the intro and it was really difficult because when I did that I sort of I was sort of tied in my back and that made me hesitate even more and yeah it, it wasn't super easy I expected it to be more easy but I at least managed to land one it was not very stylish, but uh, at least I can say that it didn't beat me a third time. So yeah, uh, we're gonna head home now and uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up, tap the subscribe button, smash the bell. So yeah, um, we love you guys. This is the father, that is the daughter and we're saying bye bye. So this was actually our last skate trip of the summer and we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did then go ahead and check out our other content and subscribe if you like what you see. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, smash the ball, smash, <laughs> smash the ball, ball smasher. And if you did, you know what to do, uh, subscribe. Uh, 